against the Sora. Look at that. I'm ready. What do you think of, of Sora, by the way, as the last edition? I'm a big fan. Folks, we are underway here. That yeah. is Sam Aldana, the one that David was just talking about as Ken against Zoe from Discovery High School, Spartan Smash 3 as Sora from Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, I'm a, oh, big, the, the focus. I'm a big fan of Ken. And that is one of the reasons why they're such beautiful setups. Sam will take that first stock easy, barely taking any damage on himself. So, uh, anyway, you asked me about Sora. You caught me at a, at a bad time, yeah, to be honest. Sorry about but, that, yeah, sorry <laughs> no, It's okay. Um, but, yeah, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fan of Sora. I really think... Uh, uh, you know, aesthetically and in terms of the brand that he that he is, I think is really cool. Uh, but the character itself, I think, is an interesting matchup against Ken because Sora just flies around so much and uh, is very floating right there. Not just floating, but but uh, lasering to the top of the screen there, losing his second stock. Um, kind of hard to get some comments in here because Sam is working so fast against Zoe Sora. But uh, this is an interesting matchup because Ken wants to be a character that is, for the most part, grounded, other than combo starters approaching. Whereas Sora, he's flying around all the time like he does in his series, and right there, Sam sends oh. Sora flying to take game one easy. Ooh. And uh, folks, I've got to give you an update on our format here in the in this play versus format. Oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. Which is that uh, it's. It used to be cumulative points. Each each matchup, there are three players on each team, and there would be a 1v1 between each of those three players. And they would play a guaranteed three games, and it would accumulate. I don't even know why I'm explaining it, because it's not the format anymore. The format now is very simple. It's a best two out of three set, uh, and it's in a set order. So you can't choose, oh, no, no, I want this guy to go first. You've got to do the order that it randomly selects for you that the play versus interface selects for you. And so it's really just winner take all set points. So Sam right here is on his way to uh, to give FCS a set point. If Sam wins one more game of this best two out of three set, he gives FCS a set point. And then all FCS has to do is win one more set and they win the match day yeah. uh, between the two teams. And that is, a, that is a big difference where, you know, before they had, they had to play all three games, but this one just if you win the first two, there is no third game. That's that's that. It's a big change, and, and you know it is much more like uh, I suppose like other tournaments and more the professional scene where it's just best two out of three. And yeah, you don't, you're not forced to play all three games. Yeah, as a player, it's different than just okay. Even if I'm inferior to my opponent in any, in any way, I can still try to get at least one game off of them in the three in the three game opportunities I have against them. Right. But here, it's just. You're on your own in that best two out of three. That's yeah. it. That's the only contribution you can make. It's uh, it's winner take all of each set. Yeah. So you don't get any uh, consolation points or, you know, any way of uh, attributing to the team unless you win the set. It's all about winning the sets. And uh, as we said, Sam is on his way. And given the way that first game went, <laughs> yeah. I think, I think, uh, all things considered, this should be a set win for Sam. Absolutely, putting his team on a advantage match match point. Which what well, that's that's the that's the thing I, I I was saying before. Oh, we had a character change here. Um, I'd say Sam is, is definitely the king of consistency among the stars. Sure. Not just with uh, with his con with his consistent Ken, but his consistent play style yep. as well. So Zoe switched to Pyramithra. Interesting character. Switches between two forms. Um, a pretty popular character, a DLC character. And so I don't think Sam is going to be uh, unfamiliar with this matchup. We we did see quite a few Pyramithras last season right here. Oh, man, I think oh, oh, he, that's, yeah. that's just an SD oh. from Sam. But I think one issue here for Zoe is she doesn't understand the, the DI of the of how to DI away from the short you can. Uh, and by DI, I mean influencing the the direction of your character as they're yeah. flying away after they get hit. Uh, 
So if you direct yourself more to the corner of the screen yeah. right there, oh. super early. Yeah, very oh, This early. is detrimental to Zoe, the DI issue. And uh, yeah, I think Sam is realizing that, just throwing out the shore you can earlier than probably he's, he's used to. Rather than trying to just get uh, damage out of these combos, I think he's letting the short you can fly real early. Yeah. A very risky move from the just spamming the. Yeah, speed. here we go. That'll that, be game that's set. Yep. That's that's it. Game set for okay. the stars. Easy stuff for Sam Aldana. And uh, as you were saying, David, he is he is really Mr. Consistency yep. for. Or FCS and uh, absolutely really a, a fan favorite, mm -hmm. and I think that that yeah. set is a good explanation yeah. why. Also, that state final set. I know I all I say it basically every stream. <laughs> Please watch that state final set with Sam Aldana against Jay Virtus of Apopka if you have not already. Um, but yeah, David, your thoughts on on that uh, that performance from Sam? Uh, the the one in the state final or this one right now? This one, this one, this one. Yeah, I mean <laughs> he did he did exactly what what he had to do. Of he got he got those kills with, with or you can I mean I can't really I can't really say too much to, to what we saw it's just <laughs> he was he was as consistent he he definitely caught his he's, he punished his opponent uh for her mistakes um I mean, he's always he's always a, a female student yeah I mean that's yeah, a female I mean, name yeah it's a female name Greek so. word for life yeah shout out to the New Testament there uh is. go ahead. <laughs> uh, but he definitely he, he punished his opponent for, for her mistakes and, and made quick work of that one. So, so props to, to Sam for a nice, clean match there because really that's that's as much as, as we got to expect from him. So. And up next, we do have Dominic, right? Uh, yes. Oh, let's see. Yeah, they're a little... I'm telling them it's maximum six players in the arena. But uh, I guess I'll, I'll talk a little bit about about Dominic while mm -hmm. we're uh, beginning here in this transition. Um, Dominic has also, I mean, I guess he got known for his Kazia game, which, which I mean, he he does well. Um, but lately, his thing this season has uh, has been getting some experience on Roy. And I think he's he's learned to rely on Roy more for those matchups that are just really one-sided against Kazuya, because because yeah. Kazuya does have those matchups that are just very very difficult for him to come out on top. Um, and he's been getting much better with Roy. He's been practicing with Roy a lot more, and and um, I think he's been honing that in to be his to be his pick for specifically for those matchups that are that are really problematic for for Kazuya. And I think I think that's that's good to have too because you have to acknowledge as a player, uh, especially with a game like this where there's a meta and there's certain characters that just have advantages against each other. It's it's good to be able to acknowledge the limitations of what your character can do. And you know some people do that by just figuring out how to play their character in a certain way to overcome those limitations. And then some just get really good with a counter pick and. You know, they, they see it as they don't necessarily have to work super extra hard to overcome a problematic uh, matchup for their character. They can have something up their sleeve that can that can counter the the counter yeah. that way. So I know that that's what he's been working on lately, and, and he's been going well with that. Yeah, it, he he wants to he wants to be Kazuya, like he yeah. wants to play that character. Yeah, absolutely. But I think he he. he and up and he decided okay out of necessity i need to pick up need to pick up a secondary yeah uh and i think roy was a good choice as we've com as we've commented on uh, earlier throughout this season so good for him but yeah he does default to the kazuya yeah yeah he still so does. if all things go as planned i don't think i don't think he wants to switch to roy it's more of like a out of necessity thing right but I do think I think he does enjoy playing Roy, and yeah. uh, his his Roy can definitely be very oppressive, especially as a as a Samus player. I don't like I don't like facing against Roy's too much. I mean, in general, 
fast characters that get in your face uh, very much often yeah. are, are not uh, zoners a cup of tea. But uh, no, he's he's definitely been working a lot on that, and he's been working on his Kazuya too. He hasn't let that up. Um, but I've seen his consistency with Roy uh, increase, and uh, he's gotten very oppressive with it too, which I think is exactly it's it's what he has to be because he's acknowledged that Kazuya is not very good at at approaching certain characters, at getting in the faces of, of certain characters. So he wanted to pick a character that can get in your face, approach you as, as, as quickly as, as possible, and 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 just lay out the damage. And, and I think Roy is, is definitely the best pick for him. So here we go. This is just a warm-up. Oh, this up. is, okay, yeah, it's just a yeah. warm-up. I guess they're, well, are they waiting on the next person? Yeah, um, yeah, so FC has washed. That's Samuel, but yeah. Samuel Nunez, but as we've noted, has has the the tendency to switch his name every week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and his character, but I would like to point out that um, the stars we played against we played against Spartan Smash Three, this very team that we're playing today, in our first preseason game. Now. Uh, let's put an asterisk ne next to that. That the fact that Spartan Smash 3 won that day 4-0 uh, because we didn't have all those starters in attendance. So yeah. um, this it, what that does indicate though. It's not like we have a super deep team anyway. Uh, what that does indicate though is that uh, this Spartan Smash team does have some players that can that can win games. Uh, that might not be the feeling that that viewers get after watching that match against against Sam, but uh oh, I think oh yeah, oh yeah, hold up, hold up. Oh, right. oh, it's because we actually forfeited that game because that was when we still had the stars and stripes thing. Oh right, <laughs> from from uh, last season. Right. So yeah, uh, yeah, never mind. So that result kind of is void anyway. Oh. That doesn't. Tell us anything. No, I guess not. Uh, <laughs> so we, so then I actually have not seen any of these players this season yet. So uh, we'll see. Spartan Smash. They're one of those schools with multiple, uh, multiple Smash teams, similar to West Orange Smash. Uh, I guess they've got at least at least three each yeah. since they go up to number three. And I guess formerly us with uh, with the stripes. Uh, yeah. I think it, with with uh, at least with the size that we're dealing with now, I think it is better to just stick with with the one team and then have and have some backups. Where we were trying to go two full teams with not really any any backup players, and I, I remember we had a couple tough matches that um, we really didn't have anyone to fill in with if if, if someone's gone. And now we we have we have a full stars lineup. With some players in reserve that are ready to, to jump in in case one of our of our stars players is not able to, I, I think I think that's better. Maybe as the program grows and we're able to have a, a bigger pool, then we could go back to stars and stripes. I'd I'd love to see that. Yeah. Well, I'd love to to continue having a B team. But for where we are right now, I think I think that was that was a good call. Yeah. I think it was the right call for for us. Yeah. I mean, we only have. Five on the roster, yeah, and uh, it, it definitely feels more focused. More, uh, you can put your arms all around it. Whereas last season, I don't know about you, but it did feel just like, okay, I, it's this team, and then I gotta go to this team, and then I gotta, yeah. What, what are you guys doing over there? And yeah. you, you couldn't, yeah. couldn't. I don't know. I felt really stressed, <laughs> stressed thin, yeah, stressed and, thin. I, and I couldn't. I mean, I couldn't really commentate last season either because I was busy trying to manage yeah. the. <laughs> the, the stripes even make sure their heads were screwed on straight half the time, yeah. and they weren't more than half the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that that was a stylish KO there. So that was interesting. We got some, we got some uh, gameplay of both Nunez's Falco as well as Dom's uh, Dom's Pyramidra. Yeah. 
which is not something I see him bring out very much at all, but nice little exhibition match. Oh. This season, uh, I'm looking at the standings oh. now, and if we go off the preseason teams, not something you kind of have to take with a grain of salt is that in preseason, sometimes people have more teams than are they're actually going to like right. put in competition. Right. But I'm looking at this uh, these standings here, and in preseason we had 74 teams. Wow. Now that might drop. That might go lower because look, like sure. some teams they didn't even play three games. Some people opted right. out of preseason. I don't know. Uh, even you can see even stripes is on there. Right. So maybe some people are like, okay, we're not at, we're not doing this anymore. Uh, so there there may very well be less teams than that. But last season it was like 30 right. in the regular season. Yeah. Uh, so if 74 is the number, it's more than double. If it's if it's 60 teams, 14 less than that number we have, it's it's still double. Yeah. So. Uh, competition field has gotten bigger i'm i'm interested to see if if the quality it, it's going to be more competitive in terms of its quality bigger it's, pond bigger fish yeah yeah but that's not always the case no it's, it's not. not so i'm interested to see the you know how that will go um the preseason standings uh so apopka went three and oh of course yeah. That's to be expected. Uh, Varela, Felix Varela, Vipers, they went 3 0 as well. Okay. Um, Spartan Smash 2 went 3 0. The NSU Sharks went 3 0. Spartan Smash 1 also went 2 and 1. But, uh, you know, some of these games are forfeit. Like, we, we went 2 and 1, but one of the games we forfeited because of that thing that we were just talking about. Yeah. So, uh, you do kind of have to take it with a grain of salt, but I mean, three and zero is three and zero in in preseason. So those are kind of the usual suspects. Right. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure those same teams that I just mentioned, Apopka, Varela, uh, Discovery, with their Spartan Smash teams, they were in the playoffs last season. Yeah, they were. Uh, one of them was. I forget which one it was. Uh, we got the the High Lords of Lightning. That's a pretty cool name. Windermere, that's a new team. Yeah. That's a new one. Also, uh, the what, what was the Sharks up there? Were they you as well? No, no, they were, they were there last. They were there? They okay. were there, yeah. Did, did we play against them? No, no, Apopka played against them in the, in the first round uh, of, the, of last okay. season. Gotcha. Yeah, the okay. first, uh, first round of the playoffs last season. First or second round, not sure. Uh, we also got Southwest, one and two. These are schools that I think the viewers would recognize Southwest, Pace, uh, Varela. Oh, somewhere down here there was Gulliver. I saw Gulliver down here. Really? Yeah. Uh, Pinecrest. Pinecrest, Pinecrest Prep. That's a team that we play in, yeah. in uh, traditional sports. Uh, here. Plus three. This. Match six. I wonder how many teams they actually have. I'm kind of curious about them. Yeah, because. West Orange. Wow. They, I mean, they're coming through. We also, yeah, so Gulliver's in there. Gulliver's in there. Uh, looking for those teams that people would recognize. Jupiter High. I mean, I, sure. I don't know. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, Southeast High School. Not Southwest. Southeast. Southeast. Uh, oh, Winter Park. Yeah, Doral Academy. Doral People Academy, definitely recognize yeah. that one. Yeah. So. So yeah, I, I'm. The reason I say that is to give people the idea, like this is real. Yeah. It, yeah. Real schools are competing against each other. Uh, that that you know. I mean, Southwest. They're right down the street there. If we play them, I, I want to. I want to do like a in-person one. <laughs> no lag. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, I'd love to do that. Yeah, so this is just more. I mean, matches, we're yeah. way down in the in the character depth chart right now. We got we got Dom on the Mac. We got, I guess. Well, I think wasn't I, wasn't Sam Wolf at at some point in his 
he he was in his, in his career. He was, he was. <laughs> um, Dom, I think Mac is is like Dom third best character. I I, I want to say. Okay. I, c I could be wrong on that, but I know I remember that Mac at one point was Dom's secondary. He actually we, we practiced with uh, with little Mac. For I mean, I remember bit. Sam. Are you yeah, sure you're Sam, not remembering Sam? They they both did. They oh, both okay. Did Mac. They were both like, they both had like a like a little Mac. Little phase, Mac and cheese. I guess. Yeah, little Mac and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> they had their little Mac phase, I guess. Yeah. I think Dom was considering doing Little Mac as his as a secondary, but he ended up going with Boy in the end. Hey, we can put in a surprising amount of work as Little Mac, I have to say. As someone that plays zoner characters, it's it it's annoying to go go up against like a Little Mac. Because Always very much in your face. Impressive. But then you know there's there's stuff like that that you can do. Dude. I do think little Mac gets gets a bad rep just because because of his lackluster uh, air game recovery, but I think he can put in some really good work. Folks, uh, just so we're clear, we're still waiting on the next player for Spartan Smash. Um, yeah, we're just—I mean, we don't—we don't want just a forfeit, you know. <laughs> These guys—they want to play Smash, want to get their Ws. We want our highlight videos that you know Josh Barba can edit for us. So. We want to get a real game in, uh, so we're just we're just trying to get connected with the other other player and uh, coach of the other team is trying their their best. Almost just oh, you're back good, away. But <laughs> what Sam did with both of them. <laughs> Got a little Mac while he was down. Yeah, there was something. There was something that you mentioned. Rules. You now have to play in the specific order that's that's laid out. Yes, that's correct. why we're waiting. Which is why we're waiting. Because last season it was like, okay, uh, well, is is your third guy here? Just let's just run that one. Because you would you would guaranteed play each game. Yeah. So it didn't matter what order it was in. Right. And now it has to be first player. Whoever's first has to go first. Go on and so forth. Yeah. Which I can't really say if I if I like this not yet or no because I I do at least I did at least like the idea of of every player being yeah. able to be guaranteed to play every single time. Yeah. Which I think is something that they're sacrificing here, maybe in, in the sake of time or, or efficiency. However you want to think of it, I think they're they're sacrificing uh, the ability for everyone to actually get their games in, and stuff like this, which is funny, 
I'm assuming they made this change for the sake of time, but there's yeah. situations like this where it would actually be more beneficial for the sake of time if, if we could just switch who's playing so then do their game and then when their missing person shows up, um, then, then run their game as well. Yeah, so I'm looking up just, just looking at the fine print here because uh, the other coach just confirmed uh, that the that this player we're waiting on is a no show. So I'm okay. just I'm just going to confirm. that it must be in this order. Yeah, that I mean that forfeit does confirm that FCS wins the set. Yeah. Uh, there's there's no way around it. Even if yeah. even if we did play the the third right. player now, FCS would still win the set. Yeah, because of the forfeit. I still kind of want to play because I mean if we have yeah. that if we have that that third guy. Yeah, if they if they have theirs, we can definitely. I mean, I, I'd say I'd say ask. At the very least, as, as you know, for practice or exhibition, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Guys, uh, Okay, so we are going to run a set right here against uh, Jaden from Spartan Smash. So the the win is already confirmed for FCS. Uh, so that's really cool. One yeah. and zero. Yeah. Um, as I was saying, there's roughly like seven to eight game, seven to eight weeks, something like that. Um, and so going one and zero already uh, is really good yeah that already Not puts bad. us up there also it would the official score would be four zero so that uh will be tied for first place yeah after yeah. Uh, week one okay so lucas has until yeah. They have two minutes. Okay, so technically, if he shows up in two minutes, we run game two. Yeah, one minute. Okay, so Dominic is is actually going to play against oh. Jaden. Okay. So. That's uh. This would have been Samuel Nunez's opponent. Right. Here we go. Looks like Dom went uh, Ryu. That's kind of cool. Three, two, oh, here we go. One, go. Dom running Ryu since this is uh, an exhibition match against Jaden from from uh, Discovery. Uh, 
don't know if I've seen his Ryu. I think this might be a pick to protect the novelty of his character selection. Right there, Joker did not have the DI right. Uh, similar to Zoe, Jaden is DIing. I don't know if he's DIing at all because, yeah. I mean, he just went straight up. Yep. The exact opposite of what you would want from from uh, being hit by the shore. You can, and Jaden is also struggling to deal with these focus attacks. So I think Dom is just letting it rip. Yeah, he's just uh, he's got walking. another one. This should be another yeah, kill. Another oh. Yeah, he's just walking right into the the focus attacks. Definitely something you don't want to do. <laughs> he's just throwing out the focus attacks. He's just man. throwing it out. Oh. Uh, this is funny. It's actually, this is not fun to watch. I. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That was pretty oh. cool. He did the down air into the into the yeah. aerial short you can. That was cool. Another another focus. Oh no. Oh no, not, not the taunt. I, I think taunting is actually a uh, ban. Is it, is this, it is, actually this is not it? this is not an official game, so no. yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I guess he doesn't know how, how focus works short. It's like, uh, but I guess hopefully now he learned how focus works, perhaps. Um, needless to say, you don't, you don't want to walk right up to <laughs> Ken Ryu while they're charging focus. Uh, maybe it does need. Do maybe it does need to be said. I don't know. If if you've never played against a Ken or a Ryu, not walk up to them while they are charging. <laughs> I've I've had I've 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 seen um, Ryu and Ken be able to take a full fully charged Samus charge beam charge shot in the face while using focus and still go through. So. It should make Ryu the, the next Metroid villain. I don't even know how much Dom is getting out of this, man. This is just focus attack simulator. He's just pursuing the, the thirstiest of sure you can. Yeah, he is. Joker's got to get one of these back airs here with Arsene, yeah. man. That's one of the best moves in the game. He tried to counter the focus attack. <laughs> it was just a bit too early. Dom is just throwing out moves. What? Oh, man, that collarbone breaker almost was a shield breaker. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's. Okay, that was a complete waste. Yeah, also that's interesting. So if you I, at least see I didn't know that interaction. So if you if you use a fully charged focus on someone who's shield broken, you can't just continue the, the stun like to knock them yeah, down. You, It'll just just knock them out of the Yeah, you've taken them out of stun. You've taken them out of stun but they don't get knocked down. So. Well it's because he didn't hold it long enough. Oh I guess, I suppose. Yeah, it wasn't focus three or four. I forget how many layers there are. Right. I guess he didn't want the match to end too. Yeah, I think that's what. <laughs> but man, if you didn't want the match to end too early, look, I guess you should pick a character he's even less familiar with. Yeah, I suppose. Oh yeah, we're not uh, here to be broadcasting. Well, for those, <laughs> so, uh, for the uh, for, uh, for our viewers that uh, yeah, that, I mean they came like 34 that, minutes late, so yeah. that's why <laughs> yeah. that's why I didn't set yeah, up the watch yeah, yeah. party stuff. So. so for our viewers that 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 came in uh, physically to to watch, 
Uh, we we have already won. Uh, for those that might be jumping in, I don't know, tuning in right now. Yeah. We have already won uh, 4 0. What we are watching now is an exhibition match uh, between Dominic and one of the Spartan EJ Case 860. I don't know their, their actual name right now. I have it on. Follow DJ Case 860 on Instagram. I haven't looked up if it's actually. This is. I mean. I'll say this is, this is one of the most boring I've ever watched. <laughs> it's just focus attack spam. I've seen. I've been to the scrimmages. You see some interesting things in the scrimmages. And uh, all right, that's game for the exhibition match. Just begun. A waste of time that was. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I mean, for Jaden, maybe for, I, it was sure good experience. It was man. good experience so for Jaden. You got to yeah. think big picture. The effect yeah. this has on the whole league. I'm left. Yeah. <laughs> everyone left. Yeah, everyone left. So I guess left. that's it. I guess that's it. Well, well uh, let's go ahead and wrap this up. A win is a win, I say. So. That's right, folks. Yeah. A win is a win. Your FCS stars have won this first this week one match against yeah. Spartan Smash 3, albeit with, uh, with a, a blowout first set from Sam Aldana, two three stocks, and then... Um, that just forfeited, forfeit, the yeah. Spartan Smash forfeited the rest of the set. So uh, your FCS stars will move to 1-0. and uh, Spartan Smash 3 will move to 0-1. Oh so, so far, so good. The yeah. campaign to make it to that state final, win that state championship is, uh, so far, looking pretty good. One step closer. One step closer. Any final thoughts, David? No, I mean, I think this... Uh I don't think there's much more to be said than <laughs> what we already saw, honestly. So, yeah. All right, folks. Well, we will be signing off. I've been Jeffrey Swindoll. This has been David Aguiar. Thank you for watching. We will see you tomorrow for Rocket League and Mario Kart at 4 p.m. on these same channels, FCS underscore media on YouTube and Twitch. And uh, we will be back next week with more Smash Wednesday at 4 p.m. We will see you later on behalf of the... FCS Stars and Stripes. God bless you. Goodbye.